Hello, welcome. Please take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it together. All right, so let's read this problem first. Um, it says, given events A and B such that the P of A, so the probability of A is 0.6 and the probability of B is 0.5, and the probability of A, this is the or symbol, A or B is 0.8, determine whether A and B are independent or dependent. All right, so independent events are two events that whose occurrence don't impact the probability of the other. In other words, like when you flip a coin, every time you flip a coin, it could be heads or tails. But each flip has no impact on the next flip. They're independent events. Dependent events, however, are events that who impact each other when they happen. So you're picking a deck, a card from a deck, and you pull out an ace from that deck of cards. Well, now, and if you don't put it back, the next time you reach in to pick out, let's say, a king, one card is missing. In other words, that first choice impacted the second. So when you have events like that, where the event, the one event occurring impacts the other, they're called dependent. Now it turns out that uh, there are a couple of basic definitions you need here. If the probability of A times the probability of B equals, all right, if the probability of A times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B, then you know that A and B are independent. This is, this is one thing we're going to use here, or we could use, I should say. Another thing we can use is that if the probability of B equals the probability of B, given that A has happened, if they're the same, then we also know that A and B are independent. And, I mean, all we have to really say there is, well, if the probability of B happening is the same given that A has happened, like A has happened, but it's still the same probability, then that means A had no impact on B and they're independent. All right, so um, what what do we use here? Well, look at what they're giving us. They're, it's a little tricky. Here they're giving us the union. So the probability of A or B is 0.8. So that means the probability of A or B happening, which is defined as the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the intersection of A and B. This is a definition. Um, I'm just thinking of a Venn diagram. Here's A. Here's B. The probability of A or B happening is all of A and then all of B. And then we take away the intersection because we counted it two times. We counted it when we first counted A and again with B. So it's A and B minus their intersection. This is useful to us because here we know that the probability of A or B happening is 0.8. We know that A is 0.6 and we know that B is 0.5. So we want to find what the intersection equals. So 0.6 plus 0.5 is 0.11 minus something, probability of A and B equals 0 0.8. Now I'm just thinking, well, I know 0.11 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.8. So I know the answer now. I know that the probability of A and B is 0.3. But you could also just say, if you wanted to solve this, just think of this right here as the variable x, and then solve for x in any way that works for you. All right, so how do we use this information? Well, now we know enough to solve the problem. It turns out here that we know the probability of A and B is 0.3. So does the probability of A times the probability of B, does that equal the probability of A and B? Yes, it does. Why? Well, we, they, we were just told the probability of A happening is 0.6, and the probability of B happening is 0.5. And if you multiply those two, you do get 0.3. So they're independent. Now, maybe you don't want to define it that way. Maybe you don't. Maybe that's not working, or you can't do this for some reason. So let's solve it a second way. So another way you might go about doing this, um, let me just give myself some more room. If you have two events, whether or not they are independent or dependent, doesn't matter. The probability of A times the probability of B, given that A has happened, must equal the probability of A and B. This is universal. Now, algebraically thinking, we've got something times another thing, and we get this result. So just like if you have 2 times 3 is 6, it's kind of the same structure. I also know that 6 divided by 2 equals 3, 
right? This is called fact families in some problems. But algebraically, that means, just means here that the probability of B given A, just like 3 over here, equals the probability of A and B, just like this 6, divided by the probability of A, just like 6 divided by 2 is 3. This relationship is also true. Okay, so how do we use that? Well, here we're given the probability of A and B as 0.3. We're also given the probability of A as 0.6. And 0.3 divided by 0.6 must be the probability of B given A, whether it's independent or not. And that's 0.5. But wait a minute. That equals the probability of B, which we had before. So that means the probability of B given A and the probability of B both equal 0.5. So they are equal to each other. And therefore, no matter how we look at this, A and B are independent. All right, so that was, we kind of went around there and explained a lot of different things, but I hope that helped. Thank you.